Now, if you want to pick up a monitor that is so high-end, it doesn't officially support the NVIDIA RTX 40 series cards, you can go out and get the ASUS, or if you prefer, ASUS XG27JCG 5K, 180 hertz, or because it's dual mode, 330 hertz, 1440p display. Remember, if you enjoy content like this, you can help me out by doing what's up here. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and of course, comment. Now, the reason why there isn't any official support for this display and NVIDIA RTX 40 series cards is for the fact of the display port that is on the 40 series cards. And the display port is not the newer standard 2.1, it's the older standard 1.4. That's why. Now, AMD was smart because they added the new display port 2.1 in their last generation of cards. So that would be the RX 7000 GPUs. They're good to go for this display. And if you have an RTX 50 series card, you're good as well. So you can do, again, dual mode. So 5K at 180 hertz or 1440p at 330 hertz. Impressive, certainly. And there's more things about this that's impressive as well. It rocks HDR 600 certification, which means it's going to be one very bright panel. However, the lack of zone control means that it is not true HDR. What it lacks, though, in contrast, it makes up for in color accuracy with 97% coverage of the DCI P3 color space, and it has 10 bit, 8 bit plus FRC color depth. Now, this would be a great choice for gaming if you can afford it. I will get to the price in just a moment. It has G-Sync, FreeSync, and VRR support along with backlit strobing, ELMB2, and that works with VRR thanks to the ELMB sync. ASUS is also quoting point three milliseconds response time across both resolutions and refresh rates. That's incredible. And lastly, there's a bunch of AI features that we all definitely care about and won't just keep disabled the whole time. Now, there isn't much listed here about those features, but maybe something else will come up. Or if you know anything else that you can add, please do so down below. Now, you can see here that there's lots of connectivity with this display. And by the way, this isn't, as far as I know, released at this particular moment. I am recording this video in December 2025, so price and availability will probably vary. But as of now, it looks like it's going to be around $835 US. Well, that's going to wrap up this video. And if you have anything to add, you can do so down below in the comments. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next one.